Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the pressure of a fluid acting at a surface. You should then be able to explain why atmospheric pressure decreases with an increase in height. I'm showing you here a packet of crisps on board an aeroplane. As you can see the packet has enlarged. By the end of this video you'll be able to explain why. We're going to start by recapping gases. I'm showing you the particles in a gas here. As you can see the particles are widely spaced and moving rapidly. The particles are colliding with each other and also with the walls of the container. Now when the particles collide with the walls they exert a force and that force is acting at right angles to the wall, in other words along the normal. This shows the particles in a liquid and again these particles are exerting a force at right angles to the walls of the container. Scientists call gases and liquids fluids and in this video we're looking at how to calculate the pressure exerted by fluids. To calculate pressure we use this equation. The pressure of a fluid equals the force in newtons normal to a surface divided by the area in meter squared of that surface and the unit of pressure is the pascal. Here's the triangle if you prefer to use these and you're not given this equation in your exam so you need to learn it. Here's a typical question. A gas inside a container applies a force of 400,000 newtons. The walls of the container have an area of 8 meters squared. Calculate the pressure of the gas. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we calculate the pressure by dividing the force by the area. In this case the force is 400,000 newtons and the area is 8 meters squared. Dividing 400,000 by 8 gives us a value of 50,000 pascals for the pressure of this gas. Going back to the packet of crisps we saw earlier, the question was why do crisp packets swell up in aeroplanes? So we're going to look at that now. To do that we need to look at the pressure of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is a thin layer of air around the earth. Now the atmosphere is most dense at the surface of the earth. In other words, at the earth's surface there are the greatest number of air molecules in a given volume. The atmosphere gets less dense as we increase in altitude, in other words move away from the surface of the earth. Remember that the pressure of the atmosphere is caused by air molecules colliding with the surface. Now as a surface increases height above ground level, the number of air molecules above the surface decreases and this means that atmospheric pressure decreases with an increase in height. This explains why mountain climbers often take a supply of oxygen with them. That's because the air pressure on a mountain may be too low to supply all the oxygen they need. So what about the packet of crisps I showed you at the beginning? I'm showing you here the packet of crisps at ground level. The air pressure inside the bag is the same as the air pressure outside the bag. However, when aeroplanes are flying, the air pressure in the cabin is kept at a slightly lower level than the air pressure on the ground. This means that the air pressure inside the bag is now greater than the air pressure in the cabin, and this causes the bag to inflate. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on pressure and fluids in my Vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.